whether it's mechanical, whether it's weather related, the fact is these people are not able to get the connectivity that they need. Thank you. That's the hilarious Tory John Lamont, massively losing it with SNP and P Pete Wishart. After given facts and statistics about ferries within rural Scottish areas within a Scottish Affairs Committee meeting on the 11th of September 2023. But to understand why he had a Tory tantrum, we have to start with the question with fellow SNP MP Philippa Whitford. You talk about the cancellations. What proportion of those are weather related? What proportion of them are mechanical failures of ageing ferries? And having lived on Mull and therefore depended on the Lifeline ferry to Oban, which was very expensive, I can tell you, has the road equivalent tariff been seen by people living on the islands as a positive or negative from the well, Scottish I mean, government? I, I mean, the fact is that there are two ferries sitting in Ferguson yeah, no, no, but, Marine just now, but there's languishing also, there there's also because the Scottish government, Cal Mac, as the chairman, is the member going to let me to answer the question or not? What proportion are weather, what proportion are mechanical? I you totally know, accept frankly, that the ferries are frankly, delayed. Frankly, the residents don't care. All they know is they can't get to work, they can't get food provisions into their shops, they can't get medical supplies, <clears> and they have to spend hours longer in the car getting to their destination because the Scottish and, government and cannot the get a grip of this si situation. I know this is difficult for the SNP members, but it's causing lots of grief for many of these communities across the West of Scotland affected by this. It does help. I've actually got the statistics here. Yeah. I don't, unfortunately, you've not got them with you, Minister. There was 171,403 scheduled sailings across the Clyde and Hebrides in, in 2022. 11,301, 6.6% were cancelled. Of those, 1,830, 1.1% were cancelled due to technical issues. Is those figures you well, recognise? I, frankly, Chairman, I am saddened that you're trying yeah. to diminish exactly. the concerns that these, yeah. the, these communities Listen, and residents and businesses raised with me during <clears throat> my Scotland <throat> office tour. Like this was their number one issue. Okay. Whether it's mechanical, whether it's weather-related, the fact is these the people minister. are not able to get okay. the connectivity that they need. Thank you. <laughs> I was in hysterics laughing at his ranting. It's like, if things have gone to pot within England... And it's in an absolute mess like it is. It's nothing to do with them. It's all down to the illegal war in Ukraine or due to the fact that only England had to deal with a pandemic and it missed every other country around the world and nothing to do with Brexit or 13 years of Tory austerity and a catastrophic mini-budget whatsoever. But when something isn't quite going well in Wales or in Scotland, that's down to government mismanagement and incompetency. Now, I have no idea who's right here, but when Pete Wishart comes with figures and statistics and John Lamont didn't, I think I know where my money's on, don't you? But what do you guys think? Who's right? Let me know down below and I shall leave the video here and until the next time, I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.